Thanks for tuning in to another Hot Wheels case unboxing. This is the 2014 L case, which arrived pretty much early June 2014. Sealed case. Check it out. The Hot Wheels tape might be coming back. I have it on the bottom strip of tape, but the top strip is just regular. I don't know if this is Mattel getting back to security issues, or is this uh, them just wanting to add value uh, to people who buy cases? I, I don't know. I thought it was kind of interesting to see that tape back on there because it had been gone for a little while. Let's go ahead and take a stripe out here. Here we go. Hyundai Genesis Coupe. That was in the last month's assortment as well. So was the Datsun 610. Hey, Berserk is back. Haven't seen you in a while. It's got that saw blade right there. When you roll your car, you see that thing, the, the bus saw that sticks out on the bottom? If you roll it on a carpet for sure, the carpet will hit this and your little saw blade will spin on top. Nice to see you back. And look, it's got a handle here as if you're cutting wood so you can hold your little car and bzz, 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 bzz. I guess that's why they call it berserk. Bzz, 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 bzz. Let's see. Hey, Twin Mill. Except it's not the Twin Mill that you've seen before. That's Twin Mill 3. We'll have to do a, a comparison. Oh, I got one right here. Hold on. Here's a, the original Twin Oh, that was a super. Wrong one. There's the original Twin Mill. And Twin Mill 3. Pretty similar in casting, but you can see how different they are. Which one do you like better, Twin Mill or Twin Mill 3? I have a feeling people are going to like uh, both equally. Twin Mill 3 is probably going to be more popular to newer collectors because uh, it's, maybe it's what you grew up with. But Twin Mill is an original red line casting, been around since uh, the early days of Hot Wheels. Here we have the Pop HW Pop Wheelie. Uh, Check it out, they put it in the pack where it's facing Matchbox. It's going that way, but that's the way it's supposed to be because look, on the on the package, it shows it going to the left. That's interesting that they would face it the other way. Let's see, that's a 2014 new model. Now this is the international packaging, so it will not say new model on there. Let's take a close up. Looks like it has a plastic body, plastic interior or engine there. Metal base. It's got skinny wheels. I'm not a big fan of the skinny wheels, but if it's a Papa Wheelie, that's kind of like a dragster, so it's got skinny wheels up front like a dragster. 1999 Ford Mustang. I wonder if that's from the Then and Now series. 1990. Nope, 50. Just the uh, 50. Mustang 50. Pretty much just a basic looking car. Kind of hard, doesn't have a whole lot of, uh, to me, it's kind of a tamer Mustang. Hey, Treasure Hunt! Oh, I love this casting, too. Custom 71 El Camino. That was the uh, Team Hot Wheels one when it was in black. I really, really, I bought extra that one. I really, really like that casting. There's the Treasure Hunt logo. You can see it right behind the door handle, circle, flame, logo. I wonder if it had the one painted eye like the uh, black one did. Here's the Dodge Demon back for more. And that flame almost reminded me of the old T-Hunt logo where it would be a T. They would have like a T like this. I thought I had to take a look at that. But let's see if it has one eye like the original Team Hot Wheels one did to where only one headlight was painted. No, they didn't paint either headlight. Well, that's a bummer, dude. I would have liked it if they would have kept it, kept it up. But that's okay. Treasure Hunt, glad to have it. Beautiful color. I kind of wish it was uh, a regular release so that I can get extras. It's going to be hard to find extras of a treasure hunt, even as common as treasure hunts are. Another Berserk. A custom Volkswagen Beetles back. When this one was released a few years ago, the uh, back hatch, it would flip up, so you had an opening hatch in the back. But uh, it's nice to see it back. Open wheeler. HW Pursuit. I did that for track time. For the K case. If you tuned in, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the presentation. I'll be doing track time again. 
So if you see a couple models that you'd like to see get some track time, it might be a downhill track, it might be gravity track, it might be loops, it might be boosters. If, who knows what it'll be, just whatever track time I decide to do. I like that color on the 64 Custom Galaxy, 60, Custom 64 Galaxy 500. Got it mixed up, a little dust, cardboard dust on the package there. Yeah, I like that one. Got Crowler Tampo on the back. And on the side, I like that one. Second color for the MR11. I wonder if uh, that one's officially part of the soccer series. I'm going to find it. Let's see. I don't see. Actually, I don't remember if the international ones. Yep. HW Gold is part of the uh, Hot Wheels soccer series. It's soccer in the USA. Football to uh, other countries. Excellent track car. You're so fast. Red, white, and blue. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Looks good. This one's definitely a, an excellent boosters, loops, and curves car. Downhill racing. That's kind of a little bit on the light side. Scrambler. See another couple scramblers. That was in the last case assortment. So if you didn't get uh, J case, I mean K case in your area, this way you know that uh, it's going to be in the next assortment too. This Corvette's airplane flying over I'm trying to film here 76 Greenwood Corvette this is a neat casting it's got the uh, headlights which are like inserts which is the interior if you're lucky you find this one with uh, rubber tires special paint and that's your super if you are lucky enough to find one 76 Greenwood Corvette another Papa wheelie it's got big big five spokes on the back huge we have the Max Steel Motorcycle, Audacious, another Soccer HW Gold Series release. This is in the last one. Repeat, 71 Plymouth Road Rummer, Ferrari 458 Italia. Nice to get another color in that. Mercury Cougar, that was in the last assortment as well. Let's see what kind of tampos you got. Got uh, headlight tampos. Get our Ferrari logo in the front. Nice, very nice. ZZ top. Oh no, just Z on the side. Can't do ZZ top. They got in trouble for that before. We can't, they're not going to do it again. 83 Chevy Silverado. Yeah, I sent it through the boosters. Roadster. And 71 Dodge Challenger. This one's new to this case. So let's take a look at the tampos. Yep, nice, nice. This is a track star. Another color for the Lamborghini Aventador J. Uh, I like this color better than the yellow one. The yellow one wasn't uh, my thing. Roadster and Audacious again. Tomb up. I love shiny chrome. Glad to see you in another color. 64 Chevelle. Oh, uh, yeah, I like that color. Light black with flames. Mm -mm. Good car. Excellent release. I just love the stance of that model, too. It just looks mean. It's the kind of car that you love to drive around the streets. Fig rig in another color. What uh, I call myself alternate race team because of the white background. But, uh, yeah, that's another, uh, race. that's another car that you can use your minifigure. You got your post in the back right there or studs. See them right there? So you can get your minifigure. You can stand them up right there. You can stand them there or you can have them hold on to the back. Not him. His hands are not in a way that you can hold them on. I don't believe. He's got studs on the front. I like to put a head there like it's a hood ornament. And on the back you see right here. You can put your fig like that. Now this, this was the first uh, car that Hot Wheels came out. The first model where uh, you can put a figure on it. The second one was called Let's Go, and that was just in the last assortment. It's a brand new model, so I don't know if it's going to be in this case. The new models tend to be in one case assortment, and then they're gone. I have it right here because it was uh, in my track time. So for this one, you got studs right there. And now when you sit your minifigure down, you bend your legs, and then you put them in, and then you put them on the uh, seat. You kind of have to work it to get them to sit in there. Did I get it? Oh, I got it on the first try. Hopefully you can find Let's Go if you like minifigures. The 
Yay, I'm glad to get another uh, monster dairy delivery. I can't do him on track time because his wheels are too wide. They don't fit on the track. 2009 Ford F-150, another carryover. Oh, I like that one. Uh, let's keep moving. Can't take up too much of the time for myself. People want to see the video. Yes, I'm glad that this one. I heard that this one's showing up in some stores. This one, USA and... Actually, where did it go? USA and Mexico. I believe those are the two cars. I think I heard these two cars are showing up in stores like this, being sold in soccer displays in stores. Did you see them? I think I heard they showed up in Mexico. I heard they showed up in California in, in a store. I don't remember which store, though. It's 14 Corvette Stingray. Yeah, look at that. Nice. And probably you were in the, the last one. Headlights. I like that little spot where they uh, have a spot right there for the black interior to come up through the grill. The, the hood. Headlight tampos. You got your Chevy logo right there in the front and center. Anything in the back? Oh, Chevy. Or Corvette, sorry. Corvette, right? Yep. Got your Corvette wing in the back. Tail light tampos. Yeah, this one's a keeper. Good luck. Good luck hunting. Second color for the fast bed hauler. It was out uh, late last year. I think, it would, I think it would have been November, October, somewhere around that time. Another Corvette Stingray. Another 99 Ford Mustang. That one did not have any headlight tampos. No tail light either. Howlin' Heat. Haven't seen you in a while. Look at those teeth. Porsche 993, that was in the last case. So it was HW Pursuit. 68 Plymouth Barracuda Formula S. I don't remember if this one was in the last case. It looks familiar. Another year so fast. An MR11. Corvette. Another carryover, Grand Torino, another one, 70, 68, shouldn't go so fast for you guys in case you missed last month. 68 Dodge Dart, 68 Mercury Cougar, Torque Twister, and Howlin' Heat. Scoop, I didn't say the name, Scoop de Fuego, 13 Copo Camaro. Scoopa de Fuego. Hey, there's a new model. Land Crusher. Wait a second. Maybe that's supposed to be a Matchbox and wound up in a Hot Wheels package. It looks like a lot of the Matchbox that have been coming out. Hey, is that spare tires? I wonder if that's supposed to be spare tires in the back. Pretty nice model. Looks uh, very similar to some Matchbox offerings. Land Crusher. New for 2014. Off-track series. Just a few left. Got another Land Crusher. Land Crusher. I wonder if that's a play on the word Land Cruiser. Another Copo Camaro. Another Fig Rig. Second colorway of the Screamliner. Pretty neat model. Fast bed holler again. Put your car on there. Land Crusher. Something I didn't notice at first, and I, I read something saying that uh, he des Larry Wood designed the car so that you can see the wheels in the back, which to me was like, uh, yeah, you know, that's no big deal. We have other models to where you can, s it's kind of low profile and you barely see the wheels, but actually, um, it's hard to see. The chrome base, the chrome base. Is right there and then they have a cutaway so that it really is cutaway so that you can see the uh, wheel there I didn't notice that on the green the first release kind of an interesting touch here's another Greenwood Corvette unfortunately regular issues still nice enough Screamliner again and Nissan Skyline this is gonna be very popular very popular model nowadays and the last three Fast Fish. There's another one for the HW Goal Series. 
race team and it's the Buick GSX. Okay, don't forget, you can say a model this or that that you might have liked for uh, like to see some track time. Appreciate your thumbs up. I hope you uh, have some happy collecting. I hope you have fun finding what you're looking for. I think some people are going to be looking for this one. It's a nice release. Fast bed hauler when it was released. Uh, I didn't see I didn't see that one stick around very long at all. And of course uh, that treasure hunt. I don't know where it is. It's in the pile down here. That's because it was early and so now it was uh, buried. But anyways, happy collecting and happy hunting. Bye-bye.